Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and give us a like so we can create more videos for you. Now let's get back to the story. Today, we're diving into a fascinating ancient text, the Book of Enoch. But first, let's start with who Enoch is. Enoch is mentioned in the Bible's Book of Genesis. He was the great-grandfather of Noah and one of the only people in the Bible who didn't die. Genesis 5 verse 24 says, Enoch walked with God. Then he was no more, because God took him away. Intriguing, right? So, who was this man that walked with God? And what's in the mysterious book named after him? Let's dive in. Got the stories to be told. You just got the story. The Book of Enoch is an ancient Jewish text attributed to Enoch. It's a collection of several books and isn't part of the canonical Bible for most Jews and Christians, but it's special in Ethiopian Christianity and has influenced many other texts. The Book of Enoch is divided into five sections. The Book of the Watchers, the Book of Parables, the Astronomical Book, the Book of Dream Visions, the Epistle of Enoch. Let's briefly go through each one. First. The Book of the Watchers. It tells of angels called Watchers who came to Earth, took human wives, and fathered giants called Nephilim. This led to chaos, and God sent archangels to imprison the Watchers and cleanse the Earth. Enoch, known for his righteousness, was taken on a celestial journey where he saw the fate of these fallen angels. The Descent of the Watchers. The Watchers, a group of angels, are sent to Earth to watch over humanity. They descend on Mount Hermon and, led by their chief, Semiaza, they take an oath to carry out their mission together. The Sin of the Watchers Despite their original purpose, the Watchers become enamored with human women and decide to take them as wives. They teach these women various secrets of heaven, including charms, enchantments, and the cutting of roots. They also reveal forbidden knowledge about astrology, weapon-making, cosmetics, and other arts. The Giants the union between the Watchers and human women results in the birth of giants, who grow to enormous sizes and cause chaos on Earth. The giants consume all of humanity's resources, leading to widespread destruction and violence. The Cry of Humanity The suffering and cries of humanity reach the heavens. The Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel, observe the devastation caused by the Watchers and the giants. They go before God to report the transgressions and plead for divine intervention. Divine Judgment God responds by condemning the Watchers for their actions. He sends the Archangels to carry out his judgment. Raphael is tasked with binding Azazel, one of the key leaders of the Watchers, and casting him into a desert place, covering him with rough and jagged rocks. Gabriel is to destroy the giants by inciting them to kill each other in a massive conflict. Michael is to imprison Semiaza and the other Watchers in the valleys of the earth until the Day of Judgment, when they will be cast into the abyss of fire. Enoch's Role Enoch, a righteous man chosen by God, is called upon to deliver a message to the Watchers. He tells them of their impending doom and the judgment that awaits them. Enoch is shown visions of heaven and the future, which he records in his writings. The Aftermath The Giants are destroyed and peace is eventually restored to Earth. The Watchers remain imprisoned until the final judgment, while Enoch continues to be a scribe and a prophet, revealing divine secrets and the fate of the world. Next is the Book of Parables, focusing on judgment and the end times, introducing a messianic figure, the Son of Man, who will judge the righteous and wicked. The Book of Parables of Enoch, also known as the Similitudes of Enoch, is a significant section within the larger book of Enoch. It is a collection of three parables or similitudes that provide a detailed vision of the future judgment, the coming of the Messiah, and the fate of the righteous and the wicked. Here's a summary of the story. The first parable, the coming judgment. In the first parable, Enoch sees a vision of the future where God will judge the wicked and reward the righteous. 
This parable focuses on the final judgment and the end of the age. The throne of God. Enoch is taken up to the heavenly throne room where he sees the Ancient of Days, surrounded by angels and glorious beings. The Books of Judgment. Enoch sees books being opened, containing records of the deeds of humanity. The wicked are condemned for their sins, while the righteous are praised for their faithfulness. The Angels of Punishment. Angels are dispatched to punish the wicked, casting them into a place of torment where they will face eternal suffering. The Second Parable the Messiah and the Elect One. The second parable introduces the figure of the Elect One, a messianic character who will play a central role in the final judgment and the salvation of the righteous. The Elect One. Enoch sees the Elect One, who is described as sitting on a throne of glory and being pre-existent with God. This figure is identified with the Son of Man and the Messiah. The Role of the Elect One. The Elect One will judge the kings and rulers of the earth, who have oppressed the righteous. He will lead the righteous into a new age of peace and prosperity. The Vindication of the Righteous The elect one will vindicate the righteous who have suffered under the rule of the wicked. They will be granted eternal life and dwell in the presence of God and the elect one. The third parable, the final judgment and the new creation. The third parable provides a more detailed account of the final judgment and the establishment of a new creation where the righteous will dwell. The Gathering of the Righteous Enoch sees the righteous being gathered from the ends of the earth. They are clothed in garments of glory and brought into the presence of the elect one. The Judgment of the Wicked The wicked are judged and cast into a place of eternal darkness. They are separated from the righteous and can no longer cause harm or suffering. The New Creation Enoch sees a new heaven and a new earth, where the righteous will dwell in peace and joy. This new creation is free from sin, suffering, and death. The astronomical book is next. It describes the movements of celestial bodies and the calendar. Think of it as ancient Jewish astronomy. The fourth section, the Book of Dream Visions, features two major visions, an allegorical history of the world and a prophecy about a new heaven and earth. Finally, the Epistle of Enoch is a collection of Enoch's teachings, emphasizing righteousness and divine judgment. The Book of Enoch has had a lasting impact on religious thought, influencing early Jewish and Christian writings, and still considered scripture in Ethiopian Christianity. So there you have it, the fascinating story of the Book of Enoch. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more explorations into ancient texts and hidden histories. There are so many stories to be told so don't forget to check back for more and we will be so happy to create more of the amazing timeless stories. And always remember stories are meant to be told and shared for the world to turn. Until then ciao. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.